in this session, I have uh, picked up a question for you, uh, which uh, appeared in uh, the CAT 2008 paper. And the question is, what you can read on the screen. Now let's take a look at this question. The question says that M and L are positive integers that satisfy the equation 1 by n plus 4 by n equals 1 by 12 and the other constraint given is that the value of n is less than 60 so when you look at this uh, uh, question and then the, the n is less than 60 and also the n is odd so you look at these constraints inside this question the first thing you do is you read this equation uh, sensibly and when you do that you realize that since m and n are both positive integers m and n and are positive here both are positive integers hence we have a situation where a positive value plus a positive value should add up to 1 by 12 which means both these values when we are talking about this value or this value both these values should be below 1 by 12 in, their, in terms of their individual values because if one of this, if let's say 4 by n is more than 1 by 12 then adding a positive number to that will not get you 1 by 12 so for example if you take n as 47 here given that n is odd and less than 60 a value like 47 can never work in this case simply because of the fact that the value of 4 by 47 itself crosses the value of 1 by 12 and that is something which can't happen because then adding 1 by n which is again a positive quantity to 4 by 47 will not bring the value down to 1 by 12 so that's the first reaction and that reaction then tells you that in this equation the possible values of n are only 49 51, 53, 55, 57 or 59 these are the only 6 feasible values that n can take in this situation because below 47, 48 n does not work and above 60 n is not allowed now you need to check now with these 6 values which of these values of n gives you a value for n which is also an integer so the problem does not end here because you need to do one more step and to do that the best approach is to write, rewrite the equation in this form 1 by n is equal to 1 by 12 minus 4 by n and if you take uh, the LCM on the left hand side, on the right hand side you will get n minus 48 by 12 n is equal to 1 by n which essentially tells you that m is 12 n upon n minus 48 so we want this expression to be an integer and this is a pretty logical reaction to this expression that you take n on the other side and get it to this point and since m is an integer you want this expression 12n upon n minus 48 to be an integer this is the second thought inside this question the first thought was telling you that n has to be at least 49 and the second thought starts from or, or reaches this point where you want 12n upon n minus 48 to be an integer and from this point it is just a matter of fitting the values because when you say that 12 n upon n minus 48 has to be an integer it's quite clear that if you put n as 49 that will happen if you put n as 51 you will get an expression of 12 into 51 upon 3 which will also be an integer but if you put 53 here so you're getting an integer in these two cases if you put 53 here the solution ends up with 12 into 53 upon 5 where it's quite clear that the 5 does not cancel out in the numerator or the denominator and hence 53 is not a solution for the expression for the value of n with 55 you get 12 into 55 upon 7 which again will not get cancelled out and hence 55 is not a solution for n there with 57 you can check 12 into 57 upon 9 where 
you will have enough threes in the numerator to cancel the line out and hence 57 is giving you a solution and if you check 59 12 into 59 by 11 the 11 does not get cancelled and hence you have three cases or three possible value of n which will give you a possible value of n hence the number of pairs of mn values is 3 in this question pretty simple question although a lot of people get over tangled in solving this but the solving time for this should not be more than 30-40 seconds because the first realization is 5 second realization that the value of n should be between 49 to 60, 59 the second realization this transformation is maximum 10-15 seconds and then the check with each value will not take you more than 2-3 seconds each and it should be 30-40 seconds time frame where you should get this answer thanks a lot, I'll see you soon with more videos on this series